shallow is the Japanese attitude towards death. It's like a person accidentally drops his garbage. And he runs to the middle of the road to pick it up. Then he died. He came to a pure white space. Whiter than hell. And more empty than heaven. And the one who welcomes him here is actually a civil servant. He handed a form. To let him fill in his information. Register, check. The process is smooth and fast. It turns out that this is the turning point of the soul. But it's more boring than street work. He was arranged to be reincarnated next. No trial, no punishment. Not even a life summary. Just ready to go through the door of the afterlife. He asked one more question. Where will I be reborn next? The answer surprised him. It's the great stone of Videmala in the southeast. Miss Mane was a little resistant. The civil servant explained that. All reincarnations are based on the virtue accumulated before their death. Mame's life is ordinary and short. And her virtue is not good. So she can only reincarnate as a great stone. But the civil servant also provided another option. Which allowed her to relive her previous life. And correct her virtue. Mame, of course, has to be reborn. And accumulate virtue to seek reincarnation as a human being. So she started from scratch. Even if it's such a luxurious thing to be reborn. She didn't take it seriously. It's just like going to a place you haven't been to for a long time. This is 1989. Be a kid again. She, who is actually 34 years old, felt bored. She was trying to accumulate virtue. At first, she was just a good kid. What to buy lottery tickets? Bet. Invest in real estate. She didn't plan at all. Finally, she got to kindergarten. She did not do it for good or evil. Including work. Picking up garbage on the ground. And eating every piece of virtue. She, who has a mature perspective, also accidentally found that a student's father had a family business and was interested in the kindergarten teacher. She remembered that in her last life, this person was with the teacher, but the family was broken and the teacher was fired. She also hurt the cute daughter. So Mame decided that no matter whether she accumulated virtue or not, she had to stop this tragedy. She first stopped the two of them from being alone as a baby. Then Mame sneaked into the office and took the piece of paper the man gave the teacher. She used the information that the teacher had not seen yet to change the number of the call machine inside into a sincere and unparalleled gratitude letter. It even made people feel that this man was a bit sentimental. Get the teacher's side. Wait until the middle of the night while the parents are asleep. She used her memory of the last life to find the private money hidden by her father. She sneaked out in the middle of the night and found a phone booth. She stepped on the yellow leaves and picked up the microphone. She sent a message of intimidation and hung up the phone with satisfaction. Then she was embarrassed to avoid the passing police. After arriving home, she relaxed and closed her eyes. She felt that her merit was complete. Since then, the classmate's father ran away when he saw the teacher. The message of intimidation stayed in her heart. Later, Mame continued to be diligent and accumulate virtue in her body. At the same time, as usual in the last life, she continued to have a relaxed and happy childhood. She made the best friends in the last life and raised electronic pets with them. She exchanged wheat cloth stickers and ate ice cream every night. At the age of 40, she still felt rich and delicious. When she was in childhood, soon her body came to adolescence. This time, she tried to control the anger of the rebel and didn't quarrel with her father. But her mind was always defeated in the speed of light. She still couldn't help but turn a blind eye. She was admitted to a middle school like the last life. Her grades were only a little better than the last life. In class, she was stronger than the last life. When the teacher was unreasonable, she would speak up for the classmates' justice. But in the end, she was still scolded. She was even confiscated by the teacher. She forgot to avoid this matter. It was a shame. Later, she was admitted to the same university as the last life. Her grades improved. And she changed to a more popular medical school. In this life, she avoided her boyfriend who was a gambler in the last life. She was more comfortable and comfortable than the last life. She didn't lose tens of thousands of loans. After graduation, she became a pharmacist. She spent the day drinking and playing. She didn't have any performance. But she was respected. Every weekend, she would take time to go home. To see her grandparents. Because according to the memory of the last life, her grandfather was going to die in two years. She wanted to make up for the regret of the last life. Unexpectedly, she found that the two drugs her grandfather took were in contact with each other. So her condition worsened and she died too early. She asked her grandfather to stop taking drugs and extended his life. She thought she had learned the right way to learn medicine in this life. On her father's birthday, she took the gift and rushed home. Unexpectedly, she met the annoying teacher in the subway. She took out her phone and took a picture. She wanted to share it with her best friend, but accidentally took a picture. This person touched me. 
In the last life, she heard that. The teacher was fired for subway harassment. It turned out to be a misunderstanding. Looking at the teacher's embarrassed expression, she decided not to take the blame. Excuse me. This person didn't touch me. She took the courage to take out her video to prove her innocence. After watching the video, she locked another man. Coincidentally, this man was the superior of the last life. This uncle was a regular in the company. Unexpectedly, he was such a person behind. He silently sighed that the mask between people was like a wall. Not long after, he saw in the news that the former superior was fired. And on this day, the iron teacher actually came to thank him. He said that he was newly married. His wife was just pregnant. If she was fired because of the misunderstanding, the family would be over. He was modest. After putting down the gift, he took out a carefully wrapped paper bag. He opened it. It was the game console that was confiscated that year. I was going to return it soon. But I forgot it. I'm sorry. You still have it. Yes, I've been taking good care of it. I see. Then he ran into an old classmate. Unexpectedly, the old classmate's boyfriend was a colleague at his pharmacy. He was married and had a relationship with a young girl. He was obviously a scumbag who cheated on his girlfriend. So, Mame kicked the game and made the girl realize the true face of the scumbag and accompanied her through the most difficult time. That night, she was satisfied and chatted with her friends at the convenience store. She avoided the car accident that caused her to die last time and was ready to face the rest of her life. As a result, a few days later, she died again. She came to the pure white space again. The civil servant told her that because of the second attempt, she could turn around and leave home. She could live a quiet life in the Pacific or continue to reopen and continue to gain. Mame decided to come again. This time, she was more serious than the previous life. Her merits were even more advanced. She carefully arranged the time to pick up the garbage and stop the marriage outbursts in the kindergarten. Then, she picked up the teacher who was misunderstood and went back to her hometown to change the medicine that her grandfather took wrongly and helped her classmates avoid the sniper who had married. In fact, through the last life, she already knew that she couldn't accumulate much merit by helping these people. But she still did it because she didn't want to see them suffer. Except for a male classmate named Xiao Fu. She was in trouble. In the first life, she saw